James Corey. Um, so we're going to start off with our video because this is just kind of a direct way to our destination, which you'll see shortly. But um, then we have a PowerPoint to kind of tie up any loose ends. So. efficient way from West High to Memorial Stadium. Once you exit West High at the stop sign, turn left and go down the hill. Next, at the end of the hill, at the stop left sign, take a right turn onto Castleman Street. Head down on Castleman Street. Once you reach the stop light, take a left turn on West 19th Street. On West 19th Street, you will pass Cross Point Church and the Hearthstone Apartments. Once you reach the second stoplight and the crossway near Alfredo's Pizza, take a right turn and head straight onto Sunder Street. At the second stop sign near the flea market, take a left turn on West, onto West 17th Street. Head straight down onto West 17th Street until you get to the Dairy Queen on the left and Emil Lutheran Church on the right. Once you get to the stoplight, pass the bridge, take a left turn, and head towards I-29 south towards Council Bluffs. Continue on I-29 until you reach 61B. Take the exit 61B onto I-680 west. Towards North Omaha, keep going on I-680 west and do not enter any exits for now. As you continue on to I-680, you will pass a bridge that looks like the picture above. As you get off the bridge, you will see signs above and continue on to I-680 West. As you continue on to I-680, you will pass a bridge that looks like the picture above. Use the right two lanes to take exit 446 to merge onto I-80 toward the Take exit 401 for US 341-180 East towards 9th Street slash downtown. Once you head downtown onto the bridge, you will see the Nebraska Stadium on your left and Pinnacle Bank on your right. At the stoplight near Blue Sushi Sake Grill, take a right turn onto North 8th Street. Turn right onto Pinnacle Arena Drive. At the first traffic circle, take the second exit. At the second traffic circle, take the first exit into the stadium drive. Then you will see the stadium towards the left and the parking on the right. Alright, well this is our PowerPoint. So, as you already know, we were going from West High to Memorial Stadium. Our target audience was football fans and uh, families. And our intended message was showing the way from West High to Memorial Stadium in the most efficient way. Um, what does it? What does efficiently mean to us? Efficiently means to us is how to get here to there in the cheapest and the most enjoyable way. Uh, this trip is 155 miles. If we were to take a Ford Expedition on this trip, it would take about 12 to 13 gallons of gas. Since a Ford Expedition travels 12 miles per hour gallon, the average gas price for Iowa is $2.48 if you round it up. The total gas money for this trip would be around $30 to $32. If the car was on an empty tank of gas, you even if you have a half a tank of gas, you could still you would still be able to make the trip, no matter the car. Uh, taking a car 
is the most enjoyable way to head towards a football game at a football stadium. Uh, you enjoy time with your family, if you're going with your family, and you have time to get hyped up about the football game while on the way there. As well as resting up your energy so that you can be ready to cheer for your team. And also, you can have time to be on like Facebook or any other social media. Also, a plane would not really be practical for this since you're not really going that far of a distance. Uh, what variables impact motion? Some variables that impact that yeah impact motion towards a car is the weather, the motor of the car, and the roads that you are going to take to towards your destination. That would mean if there were any road constructions on the way or not. Also, if a car is in a bad shape, it's probably going to either take more gas or just a longer time to get to the destination. What considerations do you have to make about an object to move it? You'd have to consider the mass of the object and determine how much force you would need to move it, as well as determining the distance that you are going. Some other considerations would be to, you would have to make, is determining the friction, force, and gravitational pull, or gravity in general. So next is, what makes object move the way they do? Some that makes objects move the way they do is probably aerodynamics, weight or mass, and gravity. So looking at the history of motion, where do you see the future of motion? For us, as a group, we see everyone going to more airborne travel, such as smaller personal planes that are cheaper and are elect electric, but that's a little far into the future. So for the time being, as of current in the next 20 to 10 years, I think we're gonna stick with our cars, but we will slowly transform our cars into a more electric world, for example, instead of using gas to fill up our cars, we can use the electricity so that we won't have a lot of air pollution. And this is our travel log. So our starting point is West High, and our destination is the Memorial Stadium down in Lincoln. Our travel method is a car. The only expenses we have is the gas money and the ticket prices. If you don't include, we haven't included the food if you're gonna buy any during the football game. So the average ticket price for a Nebraska Husker game would be around $80 to $90. And then depending on the car that you are taking, that would affect how much gas money you would need. But usually, if you have a uh, half a gallon of your gas tank, then that would probably be enough to take this trip since it's not that far. And the time, it would take around two hours and 22 minutes on average. But then, depending on the weather condition that you are going on, and if there is going to be any road construction or not, the time would either be faster or shorter. And it also depends on how fast the driver is going, if they're a really slow driver or a fast driver that exceeds the speed limit. And the distance is 155 miles from West High to Memorial Stadium. Is there any questions? Why did you decide to go to Memorial Field? We were actually actually at first going to go to Disney World, but then kind of got a little too complicated, so we decided to switch. And I guess we decided to go to Memorial Stadium because it was something that Anna had been talking about for a while, and then we just all agreed. But the first, we were planning on going to, from here to Disneyland and having like a tourist guide. But after a while, I think it was too much work, and we didn't really get it planned out, so we changed the destination to a quicker, a closer destination than Westside. So we decided on the football stadium, because everyone likes to watch football. You have enough Oscars. Yeah. Yeah. Matthew, did you? Why Memorial Field over Connect? <laughs> Yeah, I said that. She said no, and well, Corey just know. Corey just goes along with yeah. whatever. So I, don't know, I, I well, I didn't want to visit the U.S. like the um, their campus down there, and I just thought that Memorial Stadium it looks pretty. It's big too. Okay, but it's not. Awesome. It looks Ooh. pretty. Nobody likes the Oscars. Hi. 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 Okay, I was better. Yeah. Well, great clap on three. One, two, three.